couldn't decide what video to make, so I thought I'd make a video about that. All right. Right, there have been so many times that you and myself have sat there in front of an iPad, white screen, stared at that iPad, had no idea what to draw. Even if you've had prompts from your customer about what they want done, you still sat there and could not come up with a damn thing. And it's hell. To the point where I could have been drawing five, six hours straight got to the end and hated it. I persevered that long purely because I knew that I had to draw something for the next day. And then I've decided, why should I be drawing this and continuing to draw this and finish this for the appointment if I don't even like it? Internal conflict, man. In the brain, in my head, I don't want to tattoo something that I've not enjoyed to draw before. On rare occasions, he's caused me to have to move my appointment because I haven't been able to come up with something. And it's really annoying. So I thought I'd put video together not to tell you how to get over the creative block because I don't have a clue, but to tell you things that might have helped me in the past get over my creative block. If it's not a tattoo and it's just a drawing you're coming up with, coming up with or the appointment isn't the next day, put the iPad away. Just put it away until the next day. Work on something else. Work on something that you've had sitting there for a while because you're just wasting your time. If you haven't got an idea together, like a, an exciting idea together for the drawing you're about to create, then leave the drawing for now. If you look through the files on my Procreate, you'll see there are so many started and unfinished drawings. But it was an idea that I thought, oh, I could get somewhere with this, but then left it for another time to finish. So many of them. I'm kind of glad I did that. For example, recently I drew this large scale pelican illustration. Really happy with it. Super stoked if that came out. But that sat unfinished in my iPad in two different stages for at least eight months first stage I sketched it wasn't feeling it whatever I left it months forgot about it came back to it did some lions got really annoyed with the lions because I found it hard to envision how it would look in the end left it when I finally came back to it and finished it I'd hands down say it was the best illustration I've done I say best the one that got me most excited the one that made me want to draw loads more and that was me putting it down and that can work with tattoos as well. As long as you're not on a tight time scale, like your appointment's in the next day, then fuck, you've got to get that drawn. If that is the case, then sometimes you have to just be honest with yourself and with your client. You couldn't come up with a good enough drawing. And if it's a massive back piece, you know, providing they haven't waited like years to get that done, if it's a massive back piece, then or front piece or whatever, a big piece that they've waited a long time for. As heartbreaking as it is to have to wait a bit longer, if it means they're gonna get the best damn image out they can, then waiting another week is just what will have to happen. Because you don't wanna start a giant project like that, put all the line work down, just to know that that's what you've gotta finish when you didn't even like the design in the first place. And if you're not excited about it, you shouldn't be putting it on your customer. I get that sometimes you will have to do that. You will have to just go with what you've drawn and that be it. And hopefully whatever you come up with during the tattoo will be exciting for you to be happy with the tattoo. It's really hard to concentrate. I've got a new camera with a flippy screen and all I can see is myself talking. Why this makes it so much harder, I don't know, but it does. Oh, I can see myself. I don't like it. So looking at me, idiot. Anyway, do that again. There's a few things you can do instead of trying to sketch from scratch, which is 
obviously optimal every time. If you can draw a face from scratch, then great. Absolutely great. If you can't, then there's nothing wrong with photo manipulation to help speed the process along if you're planning on a tattoo the next day. It's not cheating. It's not cheating at all. You know, obviously in some styles, it's the way to get a photograph and use that mixed with other photographs. Like realism, for example. You want to use a photograph. So yeah, the same thing can apply for neo-traditional. You get a good picture of a face and you add stuff to it, like your jewelry, your decoration and stuff. And with a decent enough picture from the start, making a design out of that will be easier. If the picture looks great, if the expression, if the uh, you know the subject is a, is a good angle, you can see you know nice shadows, stuff like that, then making a design out of it won't be that hard. So sometimes a good start would be, be get online and find a good starting point, a good reference picture. At home, I have books to the side of my desk from artists that I admire, that, I, that help inspire me. So if I'm drawing, let's say I'm drawing Flash. So Flash is better because you're drawing straight from your mind then and letting the people choose if they want it or not. Instead of drawing for a customer that's dedicated for the next day, drawing Flash, then you can really look on your inspirations in other artists to come up with your own ideas. None of them are actually tattoo books, but I've got, you know, artwork from Mondo, uh, like a poster com poster and toy company. And they do novelty, you know, collectible movie posters. Stuff like that. Loads of different artists in that book, great book. Artwork from The Mandalorian, another great thing, concept art for the program. But with a program like that, action program, you get a lot of movement and stuff, so you can come up with some interesting concepts for tattoos and that. I've got the art of Game of Thrones, I've got the art of the Dark Souls games, Geiger, some of the artwork from Cabin of Curiosities, so I can't say his name, Grill, Grill, Grillamil, Grillmil Del Toro, that guy, yeah. So it's a few things I use there to help me come up with a, my next design, flash wires, or illustrations as well. A good thing to do is, if you get stuck, designing flash work on some old pieces go back to a sheet you've been working on maybe you know sometimes it, it all it takes is a, a shape in between other drawings for me to think oh actually i've got an idea there that crow's foot with a bone sticking out of it and jewelry hanging off of it will fit in that gap and you just you know start getting loose with a pen start coming up with an idea so going back to old pieces and finishing them off maybe it's their time to shine Maybe that day that design will get finished and then you have a fresh design to post. All you've got to remember is it's not the end of the world. Just don't waste your time sitting there looking at a blank screen. It will come one day. If it doesn't come then, it will come another day. So start saying new. Put the iPad down. Go for a walk. Go visit somewhere. Watch something on YouTube. Watch a film. There's loads of different things you can get inspiration from. Don't beat yourself up if you can't come up with something then and there because it's an endless cycle. If you sit there and try and draw something or you've got an idea, you want to do, I don't know, a killer skull design, but you just can't get the design out on the tablet or on the paper or wherever, just put it down. Don't sit there and try for hours and hours and hours to think of stuff. Millions of different shapes, starting, 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 ending, new one, new one, just stop. Put it down for a while. Or we'll start saying new, finish saying old off. It's not the end of the world. You will get saying out and it will be great and it will be worth your time. If it's a tattoo you have in the next day and you're struggling to come up with an idea, maybe approach it differently. A lot of the time, people are quite specific on the way they want it to look. Do they want it looking straight on or side on, something like that? Now, all it can take sometimes is draw it the opposite way to what they want and then you know, when you've got a rough idea together flip it and then you might see some new shapes in there where you can make things up from it can be just the smallest adjustment that can help inspire you to finish that piece and be happy with it and yeah sometimes when you have no other option but to draw for the next day and it be ready sometimes the magic comes in the tattoo i know 90 percent of artists will not draw 
a tattoo to exactly how it's going to be finished before they tattoo it. Usually it's just a sketch, a rough sketch, an idea that no, as long as they can pull good lines from, they can then make a tattoo from it the next day. Because sometimes the magic does come out in a tattoo. And I know at the beginning when you first start out tattooing, it's good to have a finished design ready to go because it makes it a lot easier for you as a tattoo artist and a beginner to follow along to something that's in front of you exactly how it should be. But when you get a bit more comfortable with tattooing, then maybe, and, and you start, you know, you, you start spending less time on the design beforehand and more time, like you get confident with your tools that you can put details in as you go. That's when the magic might start. Sometimes I find I'm tattooing and I'll smudge a bit of black by accident. And then I've got a new like shape for smoke to come through or something, you know? or cracks in a surface. Like, it can come from a smudge. Literally, just come from a smudge. And you just gotta be confident enough to like, start putting it in. If, if the customer knows that there's gonna be cracks in that concrete and that toe, then why not use the smudges and stuff to make different shapes up? Being stuck and uncreative and staying there and allowing yourself to stay there is unhealthy for your creative flow. You need to, put it down or finish something else and it will come to you and you'll be fucking excited at the end of it because damn don't let art beat your ass man take art by the balls and shove it off a cliff and then when it's on its deathbed at the bottom of that cliff run down there and say listen I'm giving you a chance softly bring it back to life and it will come back to life and it will be better than it was before and it will help you make the best damn tattoos you've ever made or the best illustrations or the best videos or the best photographs or the best whatever the hell you're creative and it will help if you let it go and patch it up on another time i appreciate everyone who's watched my video so far i'm always going to make these some of these are hard this one was quite hard to make because it's quite a hard subject to talk about when I don't have a solution for your problems. Anyway, like, subscribe. I've made one of them buy me a coffee things now because these take a lot of effort and I'd really appreciate, you know, if you can buy me a coffee, that'd be great. The link's down in the description. I fucking love ya. See you soon.